one thing people seem to not know that they can do with JIRA is actually set up different workflows for different issue types, even when it comes to your stories, your subtasks, or your epics. Let me show you how I set it up to match my previous video where I talked about how to scale the product increment. First, I like to set up several different issue types, including a Lean UX card that follows a scientific method or innovation accounting workflow, tasks, technical cards for technical enablement, and of course, themes to help tie together funding buckets that span multiple epics. What you have to do then is go ahead and make sure that you map each workflow and each issue type into issue type schemes and workflow schemes. I turn off subtasks. This is my value stream Kanban. You can see that it has a very logical loop from proposal to compliance. At the epic level, I want to track the investment cycle. So it follows a normal path for a business plan as it becomes decomposed for teams to build and then gets validated. The innovation accounting cycle is a scientific method, but it combines the system architecture team metrics and UX together into one group that can inform the business about their product decisions. The build cycle for stories is a very important thing to do even if you're a scrum team because it is what allows you to use transitions like merge rejected, build generated, to pull in data from other tools. You have to put them all together into a workflow scheme or it won't work and then you have to map it to the project. 